Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. We're in Premiere Pro CC 2018 and I'm going to show you how to take a 1080 footage or 4K footage or anything like that and make it so that it's usable for Instagram. Instagram uh, has come a long way but it still has very different settings than what you're used to with Facebook and YouTube. If you're a content marketer or if you've got some really great footage that you took with your, you know, with your, with your camera and not the one on your phone and you want to have uh, throw it on Instagram, you're not sure how to do it, follow along with me, I'll show you how to do it. We're using Premiere Pro 2018, let's get going. First thing you want to do is you want to drag and drop in some footage. I've got some footage of a puppy dog, and he's on a beach. So we're going to drag and drop that into the timeline, and bam, we've got a 15 second clip. Now, before we get going here, I will make mention that Instagram, at least as of right now, which is like t December something, 2017 uh, they've got restrictions that your footage has to be three seconds long minimum and maximum of 60 seconds uh, they've also got some file size uh, 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 restrictions as well but it's like 150 megabytes but that's not really a big issue because the quality that that you put up on Instagram is really really rough they've they've really got a long way to go to, to get there but anyways that's for another later discussion. Here we go, guys. Now, the footage I've got is 1080p, and you know it is because I will just right-click on the footage, and I'll go down here, and I'll show you the properties, and there it goes, 1920 by 1080. Now, assuming that, you know, you guys don't have to do any editing, if you do have to edit, just edit away or add in whatever you need to add in. Now, let's just go ahead and render this, but we're rendering it for Instagram. Go to File, Export Media. Now, normally, uh, you'd want something like match sequence settings and or, you know, or you would have like the H.264 is the most common uh, format and then match bitrate and stuff like that. And then when you look at the output here, you'll see it's 1920 by 1080. That is absolutely not what we want. <laughs> so let's go right in and just switch that up. We're going to keep it on H.264. We are going to keep it on this for now. You will notice that I've got an Instagram uh, preset, but that's the one I built. But uh, we'll get there. Um, go to the match source down here. You want to go to, there's the effects and then there's video. This one's open by default. We're going to go ahead and uncheck this one. Now, what you want to do here is you want to put in a width. You can actually double click on this and make sure that it's chained together so it's uh, maintaining the frame and aspect ratio. Type in 640. 640 is the width of that. All, it's all you get on Instagram at the moment. So it, you can't go any wider than that. And if it goes wider than that, it will just sort of shrink it and it makes a real mess of it. So this is the most crucial part here. Uh, things like frame rate, not a huge deal. Field order, uh, I just keep it at progressive is good. Um, here's something else that you want to make sure you've got under profile. And you notice that I'm clicking the tick boxes here. Click it, make sure it's at main. And also for level, you want to drop it down to 3.1. It usually for me defaults to 4.1, but 3.1 is uh, it's a little bit easier on Instagram because the, we want to actually make sure that the file size stays, you know, relatively small. Um, click render at maximum de depth. <laughs> and uh, VBR, I like to do two passes, but one pass is fine. And here is the second most important part, is your target bitrate. Now, like I said, Instagram is not known for its quality of video, so we want to drag down the target bitrate. I recommend using a target bitrate of 3 and a maximum target bitrate of 4. What you'll notice is that the estimated file size went from 17 megabytes to 5 megabytes. I'll just do that again, so if we're up way up here... Yeah, it's it's uh it's 18 megs down here. It's like yeah, 5 or 6. So let's just go back to 3. Let's go back to 4. These rates work pretty good and you still get a good video. Um other than that, you don't need to check any of these other things, guys. I use maximum render quality and then bang, that's what we got. So we're going to go ahead and call this uh we're going to call this uh doggy on the beach Instagram. And then I'm going to save this to, let's save this to my creative, uh, let's go to my creative files. Do I have access there? Yeah, creative. We're just going to go there and we're going to save it. Now, we're going to export it. Let's go. So yes, we're going to be doing two passes, guys. Now, I'll even just, I'll show you the, the process of, of uploading it too because it can be quite tricky. 
There are a few options. One of the options is you can go ahead and like I just put it on my creative files and then here it is. So let's just go and open this just to see what it looks like. Okay, doggy on the beach Instagram. Yeah, it's it looks okay. Um, now I'm going to go back and what I do, and this is really probably for a lot of you guys that are content marketers, I use Hootsuite.com. And then what I do is I just drag and drop it in and boom, it goes right up. Now you can do it directly from your phone, but it is a pain in the butt. Not going to lie to you. So I'm just going to use my mom's account. Uh, she runs a dog daycare. And then here, you'll even see one that I uploaded earlier. Oh, that's Facebook. Wait. <laughs> but there's the video, guys. So boom, it's up there. It's on Instagram. It looks awesome. But what I would do is I would take the video. I would drag and drop it into the uh, Hootsuite. And then boom, I would just select her Surrey Dog Daycare and write some blah, blah, and boom, put some hashtags in and you're done. Now, that is, an, that is one of your options. Your other option, I will tell you, is you can use something like Google Drive, which I've got open here. And let's just go with audio and oh, let's just see. I would create a new, oh, let's just go to my drive, create a new folder. And here we go. We're going to call this Instagram. And then in the Instagram folder, I would drag and drop this in like that. And then, <laughs> yeah, it's tricky, guys. I know you guys don't have to follow along if, you, if we've already solved the issue. Great. But then what you want to do is you want to go to your phone, open up your Google Drive. In your Google Drive app, you can go ahead and download and save that file to your phone. I would save it to your photos and then you could upload it directly to uh, Instagram. That is a pain, uh, but uh, that is an option, guys. So those are a few things that you can do. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions about this or anything else that's related to this, just ask them or write them in a comment and I'll even make a video addressing it and I'll, I'll try and help you out. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, guys. And uh, I'll be back with some more videos shortly. Cheers.